Good afternoon, folks. Today we're going to go over the timeline of expected events in the coming years. Things are ramping up in several ways, and it is worth reviewing when to be expecting what kind of calamity. You know things are definitely getting stranger. Every day I find something odd like this story and wonder if it has to do with the pole shift. If you didn't hear about this one, what appears to be electrical burns are randomly injuring cattle on Prince Edward Island. Not much more is known about the situation, but it's the kind of thing that makes me perk up and pay closer attention. Things like random voltage spikes in the lower atmosphere and the crust are certainly to be expected in this shift, but is it time? Is this an example? There's really no way to know definitively. Other things are more obvious. So I'll just go ahead and read this article. Prince Edward Island farmer worries stray voltage is harming his cattle. It's uh, something that can't be seen, but the cows can't lie, says third generation farmer. This is an issue that needs to be resolved immediately, says farmer John Gallant. It started with calf number 123. Ooh, it's a sign that's some geom uh, gematria. I'm sure some of you guys can get it all figured out. He was perfectly fine and drink and drinking on a cow, <laughs> said John Gallant, who owns beef cattle on his third generation farm in St. Timothy, PEI, near Wellington. He jumped on his tractor and was backing out when he saw something strange. The calf was laying pretty much lined up with the side of his fence post in the middle of the water puddle there, stiff as a board with his eyes rolled back in his head. Gallant said uh, he sprung into action, pulling the calf out of the puddle and onto dry land. To his surprise, it jumped up to its feet and ran away. But then, he started flopping on the ground and bouncing up again and <laughs> ran another 100 feet and did the same thing. Sorry, I don't mean to laugh. It's not funny. Other, other unusual things were going on too. What he calls scorch burn marks appeared on some of his cow's backs. His calves showed similar spots around their ears, nose, and eyes. Gallant says the phenomenon is causing burn marks on his cattle and their nails are falling off. I didn't know cattle had nails. I guess cattle have nails. Gallant thinks what is happening is something known as stray voltage and he feels his cattle were getting electrocuted out in an open field. My very first phone call to Maritime Electric was, My cattle are, fr are in a frying pan. It's time to turn the heat down, he said. Cattle are especially sensitive. Aside from Gallant's allegations and his own personal testing with equipment, including an ammeter that measures electrical currents, there is no evidence that these incidents are specifically caused by electricity. But an expert says stray voltage on farms is possible, according to Ian Noakes, who researches how energy impacts farms with the Ontario Federation of Agriculture, says voltage, also known as tingle voltage, happens when an unwanted electrical current moves from one spot to another. It's tricky because the symptoms... The, the cattle is expressing, you're not going to think right away, well, it's getting tingle voltage. Hey, they gave it a name, tingle voltage. Now, now we can all normalize it, minimize it, and forget about it. It's just tingle voltage, you know. He said one of the first steps is figuring out where it's coming from. Maritime electric system or equipment on, on the farm, like faulty wiring or something, that isn't properly grounded and leaking current. When this current is flowing through the ground, it wants to go anywhere it can to get back to the source, he said. Cattle are especially sensitive to this. A uh, farmer in PEI is trying to figure out what is harming his cattle. He says it's something called stray voltage and he wants something done about it. He spoke with CBC's Stefan DeJarnis. Noakes said... In Ontario, it's considered an issue if the stray voltage exceeds one volt. Although he can't comment on Gallant's situation specifically, he said he has seen tingle voltage devastate farmers. You can imagine the stress and the mental anguish when 
you just see these animals suffering can be astronomical. Uh, financially, you know, people lose whole herds, he said. It's tricky because the symptoms the cattle is expressing, you're not going to think right away, well, that it's getting tingle voltage. Maritime and Electric investigates. Uh, Gallant said Maritime Electric has has been to his property a few times since he contacted them, but said the issue continues. Maritime Electric could not provide an interview, but did send an emailed statement that said it takes all customer safety concerns seriously and has had its engineering and operations teams complete a thorough investigation into this matter. Uh, it's something that's very slow. It starts off with nothing but a slight little tingle in the tip of your finger, said John. Gallant said one night <clears throat> the power was off for about 40 minutes while the utility was while the utility was doing work. When the lights came back on, he said, he had three animals collapse within 45 minutes. One died a few days later. Gallant turned off the power in his barn and hasn't turned it back on since. I've gotten three electrical shocks inside the barn, he said. It's not something that's a big jolt or a spark and everything goes boom and everything's all over. It's something that is very slow. It starts off with nothing but a slight little tingle in the tip of your finger. Uh, Gallant's been doing his own testing with an ammeter to try and solve the problem, but according to Maritime Electric, the findings have concluded that all the company's equipment, including the neutral current and voltage readings on Maritime Electric power line at or near the customer's property, are operating within the requirements set out by the Canadian Standard Association and in the, Can in the Canadian Electrical Code. Ringworm, frostbite, neglect, vet says no, Gallant is aware. His theory might seem far-fetched and knows people might wonder if what is impacting his cattle could be something else like ringworm, frostbite, the feed he uses, or even neglect. But one of, one of his veterinarians, Dr. Wade Sweet, said, although he can't confirm that it's due to electricity, he doesn't think it's any of those other things either. I've worked with John for years. He runs the community pasture. He knows how to feed animals, and his feed quality is excellent. He's not mistreating his animals, said Sweet. In the fall, they were all in excellent condition. There just seems to be something that we can't quite define with his animals. Gallant's pasture is now empty. Sweet recommended he move his cattle to another location off his farm until the electrical issue is, is investigated. It brought back all the memories of my childhood, of what we experienced in that barn over there. The barn Gallant is pointing to is empty these days. Growing up, it's where the family milked dairy cows, but he said his family sold uh, sold them all in 1992 because we couldn't keep healthy animals year-round in the barn. Gallant said this has been an issue before. A CBC PEI story done that same year shows an electrical engineer at Gallant's farm doing tests for stray voltage and speaking with other farmers about the issue. Oh, see? So there you go. It's normalize it, minimize it, forget about it. This happened since 1992. It's always been that way. Nothing changed. Nothing to see here. Don't worry your pretty little head. Move on. Three years ago, Gallant bought beef cattle hoping things would be different. I have no words. I simply have no words, he said. This is absurd, and it's not new. That's the biggest part of my issue right now. We screamed about this, about this a long time ago. Still wants answers. In its statement, Maritime Electric said, we have encouraged the customer to engage a qualified electrician to investigate any potential electrical or grounding issues associated with the customer-owned equipment and the building on his property. The provincial government declined to comment, saying it would defer to Maritime Electric. Uh, for now, Gallant says his cattle appear to be improving in their temporary home. He knows they can't stay there forever, though, and he worries about his family who are still living on the property. If I can't have cows again on this property, 
I can find another job, but I can't move out of my house, he said. Still, he knows stray voltage is hard to prove, and he is hoping to find an expert who can help. Hey, hey, John, look over here. Yeah, I might be able to give you some clues and some leads. It's something that can't be seen. Uh, unless you get electrocuted, it can be felt. But the cows can't lie, he said. This is an issue that needs to be resolved immediately. It needs to be discussed and figured out what's, what is wrong. And let's get on this because nobody should be living in these conditions. Well, I assure you, John, they are not going to investigate it because that trailhead of investigation leads right to plasma fire and there is a worldwide orchestrated, uh, coordinated cone of silence lowered around the subject of plasma fire to keep the cattle from stampeding. The human cattle, the livestock that we call human, we don't want them stampeding. So we're not going to let them know about plasma fire, or they'd freak out. We've got to keep them calm and sedated. So I guarantee no one's going to get to the bottom of your issue over there because it leads right to the bigger issue of plasma fire. And also it leads to the bigger issue of pole shift. Notice the video center screen. This is Suspicious Observer's Playlist from three weeks ago. Earth discharge lightning and pole shift. Uh, a few weeks ago, I showed you a lightning bolt emerging from the Statue of Liberty. While everyone's reporting that the Statue of Liberty got struck by lightning, you can see by the way the branches of the lightning are forking that the lightning is moving upward toward the sky. Earth discharge probably has something to do with that same tingle voltage that's burning your cows. And if you look at uh, his other thumbnails and videos... There's quite a few with the same thing. Big volcano sunspots. You can see this lightning coming out of volcanoes. Unlike anything we've ever seen before. Sure, there's been lightning associated with volcanoes in the past. But nothing like what we're seeing now. Not one-tenth, not one-hundredth of the amount of lightning above the volcano that we're seeing now. And we've always thought of it as striking the volcano. But no, it's an earth discharge process. Probably similar. Electric weather, part one. Drones fly into clouds to give them an electric shock. Well, you can see a couple of these other thumbnails are also talking about the uh, earth discharge electricity. Let me just grab a couple more. There you go. Upward positive lightning, earth discharge, eight days ago. Volcano lightning, more pole shift effects, six days ago. And I think that might be it for now, but there's plenty of this. There's another one. Uh, solar flare impacts, earth discharge. There you can see the lightning is forking upward. It's coming out of the volcano, shooting up into the sky. But very few people are ever going to notice that. And that might be associated with the pole shift and with your plasma burned cows. This earth discharge. Holy Earth Discharge. This recent event from Guatemala shows a fantastic electric discharge from the ground. It is not wholly contained within the volcanic ash cloud, which is still small at the time of the video. It was indeed the Earth capacitor discharging excess energy. Channel veterans have seen it before and know to expect more and more of this. Earth is indeed a capacitor when it comes to space energy. And with Earth's weakening magnetic field, the excess solar and cosmic ray energy influx to Earth has been on the rise. Let's go to lightning, where a station built to study it has captured a high-speed look at an upward positive bolt, an Earth discharge event. It fingers upward until it connects with the clouds, and then the connection is made, causing an excitement along the entire connection line. More importantly, they were able to see the X-rays produced by the bolt, Something that may become yet another important issue in the ongoing shift as these upward bolts become stronger and more frequent.